Hey guys, Tyrant here bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on Wolfies. Okay, today he's pointing in the south. We have Jungle Jake as OKW, who has Scavenge, Overwatch, and Breakthrough. Team up with him is Smile. Also is OKW, who has Breakthrough, Overwatch, and Elite Armored. From the north, we have Duffman as US Forces with Tactical Support, Airborne, and Infantry. And finally, Sir Ducksworth as Soviets with Armored Assault for a tier one start here no second combat engineer in terms of rankings here random team game uh duffman ranked 10 ducksworth around 50 small around 100 jungle jake i'm not sure this guy replays too old rex are hidden now <laughs> the peril of being so far behind in the in the old replay queue huh Alright. Okay, a Duxworth going uh, penal into penal here. So it's going to delay the M3 a touch. Penal's going to try cap. We have a second squad of Sturmpies actually coming in from Smile. This squad coming in from the side. Penal's having a bit of trouble getting out of cover there. Slow to back off. Second squad of Penal's coming in, but they will have a tough time against these double stern pies. They're close enough. Looking to overwhelm here. Good amount of damage done, but ultimately, yeah, you shouldn't be soft retreating. You just need to get out in that kind of scenario. Some sort of the combat engineers. Now you're three on one. Nothing gained. So good early engagements there from Smile. Meanwhile, it looks like uh, Duffman managing to sneak down onto the cutoff and do quite a lot of damage over here. A capture point is being overrun. Good play. Uh, nuts. We got orders coming. Squad kind of camped out on the far VP, not up to much. So it's going to be standard for folk screen ideas for Jungle Jake to start things off. Smile. He's locked into Overwatch, so maybe we're going to see some Jaeger lights from him shortly. Does have a forward battle group, and it's going to be a machine gun here first. This kind of build would never fly in a, in a high level 1v1 game, but in team games, you can sometimes get away with tactics like this. Mind triggering right when I was about to maybe jump into the M3. Oh wow, he's got Faust already. Wow, that was a really fast tick up to Mechanized. Now the M3 could even be in some trouble. Double Sturm Pose getting reinforced. Could chuck this down with small arms damage alone. M3 backing off the penals though. Fighting strongly. Empire on the run. Now Fox Street is going to be able to get in there for another Faust. Ducksworth. Oh, not quite enough damage though. I think he needs two more bullets on Fox Street to kill that. Sturmpires go down as well. There it goes. So, uh, wow. It was looking pretty good for Smile at the start there, but no retreat on that Sturm. Oh, strange to go uh, quite poorly. Maybe he was just expecting that the M3 would die to that second Faust. It was very, very close. And that kind of threw him off. Either way, you know, this is a good strong position here for Smile early. You can see the impact, you know, having that delayed M3 had on the game. By the time the M3 was out on the field doing anything, already Faust available. And I know that this was like a very early Faust tech about as early as you could possibly get it, but shows the impact of uh, this build. A bit too slow to get the M3 out. Ready. 
So on the back of that looks like a smile. Capping up pretty well on that side of the map. There's Jaeger Lights available as well, so if Ducksworth did try to go for a sniper, Jaeger Lights decent option to try and counter that. Into your half track out for Duffman, forcing a couple retreats there. We do have Mechanize down for Jungle Jake, but he has gone for a Rakitten before that. Oh boy! Fox Trinity is down over here. Okay. over here looking to do their best could be a slightly dangerous retreat path though with that anti-air half track coming in a bit of suppression in there and the penal's on the move might still be worth trying to go for the sniper as Ducksworth if you fancy your sniper control otherwise this is going to be very tough to bleed effectively or break Oh boy, couldn't quite get out of range of the Rakitten in time. Slightly awkward, I think I was trying to drive around here but got blocked by those hedges. So Duffman losing the anti-air half track, that's bad news for the allies. His axes are going to get off to a pretty strong start. Tier 3 popping up now for Ducksworth and pretty close to the fuel for the T-70. Salvaging the wreck, but you're very vulnerable while you're doing that. There's quite a lot of damage. Duff man able to see from inside the building. Going for an anti-tank gun now. Jungle Jack going for a walking stuka first. Oh boy. Oh, you don't see that too often. Duff man. See how he manages to deal with it. Like he's getting an anti-tank gun. He thinks he's being prudent. He's like, oh man, you know. I'm ready to counter that light vehicle, but it's going to be a walking Stuka. It's going to be a bit of a sitting duck for the walking Stuka. Eagle lights haven't seen much action, kind of just sitting on the far side. I've been sending grenades out from the double OKW team. No weapons yet for Duffman. Does have two commanders with M1919, so could lock into one of those, start getting a couple of those weapons going. Wow, quad. Quad from Ducksworth. I wasn't expecting that. Gets the D crew on the machine gun. Unfortunately, the fact base is there, so the combat engineer is unable to steal that away. This works out pretty well for a smile. And the quad actually doing quite well. Smile going for a no rakit in style, so doesn't have an answer to this at the moment. Here comes the walking Stuka, though. Kind of landing on either side, not doing massive damage to the captain. Decent connection, but not tremendous. There we go, quite up to Vet 1 now, getting aggressive on the far side. So I'm kind of paying the price for going for the infantry support gun instead of a Rakitten right now. Tempos start the Shrek upgrade, but if they get suppressed and forced away, that's not really going to help them too much. Almost makes me wonder if the infantry support gun was a misclick. Let's took a way out the back in a, a very safe position. Okay, it's going to be bars for Duffman, so I, I guess that means it's going to go airborne. Otherwise, I think he'd be going for the M1919s. Got 
sandbags, clearing that off with the anti-tank gun, making some use of it. Quad did take a raketen shot. Good work from Jungle Jake coming across to support his teammate who desperately needed it. Finally building his own raketen now, smile. Comes the anti-tank gun for Ducksworth. Let's see, maybe we're gonna try to put a push down on the battle group. It's gonna to be tough. I don't know if he's got enough momentum for that. But you know, if he comes in from this side, the blind side of the flank base with a couple satchels to liven things up, maybe he could get it done. He was three satchels to kill the battle group. Our squad's working well over here for Duffman. Obviously we can stoop her again. This one going to be targeting the building it looks like. Duffman jumping out. Wow, building still standing after that. Didn't go like a lengthways one just to ensure that it dies. This barrage did some damage to the machine gun. Got out the back. It's pretty good damage itself. There goes the MG. Again, connecting once. Backs out. The penal's applying some big pressure to that Rakitin. Even with the reinforcements, it's going down fast. Nearly getting decrewed there. Uh, gonna be able to steal this away. Concussive grenade, but machine gun getting out of there for Ducksworth. Well done. Not effective with that push overall. And because they're getting so low, he's actually bringing the quad back in. This could be a kill. Mm, close one. Not quite able to get the job done there. Pack out to out the back for Duffman. That is a walking Stuka magnet. We'll see if he can uh, keep it alive here. Just give him a lot more options for opening up the back area, though. Especially this machine gun, which is quite far back for Jungle Jake. He hasn't really been uh, involved in this fight, and it's been going on for quite a long time at this stage. And that is sloppy. It almost looked like he went AFK there for about 20 seconds. It wasn't microing either of those engagements. Maybe he's too busy controlling the raketen on the other side of the map. But yeah, that was a very easy... A loss to avoid. Oh, here comes the walking Stuka. Pakau is already dodged away though. So this is not going to hit anything it looks like. Dodge further away just in case. Back base reveals itself. Shutting down further harass attempts from Duffman, so it's a pretty good lockdown on the fuel over there. Oh, big hit from the ISG. Is this very low on health after that? The Ford Retreat unlocked now for Smile up here as well. Don't quite have the LMG yet. Okay, a little bit exposed, but Duffman very quick to back it out of there. Good awareness by him. But taking a bit of damage there, backing out. Machine gun could be in some trouble as well. Getting hit by the Jaeger lights from the side, but we've got a decent Zis barrage coming in. A lot of penals coming across as well. They're quite a lot of vet this squad. Compared to the others, this one's nearly vet 3. This one's not even 
Halfway to vet two yet. Stragglers. Cobra's out now for smile as well. This is where it can get it's quite hard for the penals. Here's Ubers and Jaeger lights. They're bleeding you quite a lot of manpower. You kind of do need the sniper to deal with the Ovis. Maybe he could boot the sandbags, then the penals could kind of hold their own, but without the sandbags, it is quite a struggle. Walking Stuka rockets. And again, another not so good barrage. Four kills so far, and four or five barrages, so pretty slow start there for Jungle Jake. Duffman, though, has been pretty good on the dodging. So it's a two way street. He's been uh, quite active with that pack, how he's moving it around. Oh boy, but. Rise I'm praising him, he ends up losing the squad. Ooh! Oh wow! Massive hits. Looks like the captain's only got one bar as well, so he can pick that up. Wow, that's really good fortune for Duffman. Huge pack how he hits. Oh boy, the quad ends up going down on this side to the Rakitan. Decent satchel out there. Well, under quite a lot of pressure here. He's building a howitzer though. Looking to bust through the team weapons. The Ogres go down for Smile. Unable to reinforce fast enough in combat there. This is a very big gamble for Smile with this howitzer. He's almost getting overrun here. But if that howie lands right, it could be massive. It's up now. Let's just switch the angle slightly. Duffman has the Sherman out. Pretty fast timing on that. Jungle Jake just about to start his own medium now. Here we go. Ooh. ISG coming down as well. Oh boy. <laughs> and both the team weapons get decrewed. Oh boy, he's going to try to jump back on it with the combat engineers. Here comes the walking Stuka. No, it's going across to Duffman. This time, Pack Howitz bites the dust. Five kills. That's exactly what Jungle Jake's been looking for this whole time. Looks like the anti tank gun got outright destroyed, but the machine gun able to get out of there at least. That's with able to salvage the situation. And Smile keeping his tech truck alive. So far the Sherman's been on the field for a while, hasn't seen any action. Got double anti-tank guns for Jungle Jake. Looks like he might be saving for a panther first. Fortunately he's wishing they were Vet 5 so he could uh, have the out of combat healing right now. Duffman did lock into a commander, by the way, infantry. So we can build some sandbags. Got the time on target. Good option to counter the howitzer. If you can save the, the munitions up. And that captain doing some big damage. The bar and the M1919. Well, Duffman finds himself in an awkward position. Luckily, one of the rockets missing. Just getting out of there before the second volley of shots arrive. It looks like Duxworth kind of giving up on this side. Coming into the center more. And that's just so much firepower from the mass bars. Has he got... Has he got one bar, one M1919? Looks like a double bar on that squad. Indeed is the Panther for Jungle Jake rebuilding the Overs also. 
The question is, what does Duffman go for next? Is it going to be the Jackson? Maybe the Priest? Again, somebody using a forward base like this, the Priest is a much better option than it normally is. So normally I'm pretty opposed to the Priest, but in this case, I think it has some potential. Nice fast D crew there, walking Stuka onto the other side. Hitting too much. Couple MG34 models right there and there. And Smile, looks like he's going straight for the King Tiger next. Putting down his mechanized truck. But how he work out the back. Tiny bit of damage from that. So low on manpower though. It's going to be a tough stall. Oh boy, straight away engine crit on the Panther. That's a bad start for Jungle Jake. It is going to be the Priest for Duffman. Don't know if he saw the Panther before calling that, and I think so. He just feels confident in his positioning. Can build Rifleman Mines as well, which is very helpful against Panther Dives. Aids. Okay, and there is the IS-2 for Ducksworth. One Rakit and one Shrek for Smile. This could be a tough hold. He does have enough for some Sector Soft planes, though. And here we go. Bringing the Priest in. Over the far side. Not the best scatter from that range. Could have got it a tiny bit closer. I've been getting a bit too close themselves here. Take quite a lot of damage. Couple hits from the AT guns. Major way out the back here. Panther considering going for a wraparound. Drives past the flag though, so Duffman may be going to see that one coming. He's backing away with the anti tank on the Sherman. Switching rounds already. And spins about. Doesn't have enough munitions for uh, the Sabo rounds. So he could struggle to penetrate the Panther. Okay, we've got the planes coming in for both teams on the left hand side while this is all going down. Good dodge on the walking Stuka again from Duffman. Force back the eyes to a lot of repairs required on that now as well. Allies are quite low on the VPs. Smile has had a pretty good hold on this left hand side one. There'll be flak bases shooting down some of those planes. Oh, that's a nasty satchel. Ooh, close call for the fault screen is they do survive. Suppressed here. Very risky to try to jump into that building. It's so low on health. Even a Panther shot could finish it off. Priest is ready to go again. Oh wow, I didn't even notice. I thought this was still alive. Maybe that. I think I thought I heard time on target out the back. Maybe that was, was what finished the job actually. First I thought time on target was on the howitzer, but. So that was still alive. Jungle Jake can of course try save for the King Tiger next though. It does have his uh, battle group coming up at the moment. Yeah, the uh, allies now controlling the central VP. Double anti tank guns out now for Duffman. Good answer to the Panther. And now Priest into the base. Two kills there. Couple more. Jungle Jack having to scatter in fear. Nice two ready to roll again. It's constant howitzer fire. 
as well. Not too worried about whether there's actually anything there, just letting it rip. Nearly catching those uh, combat engines repairing. Took a little bit of damage. Duffman has just about enough pop cap for a Jackson if that's what he wants to go for last. Squeeze it into his army. Those two rolling forward again. Smile. Struggling to save that manpower for the King Tiger. Stuka Barrage on the pack, Howie. Get them mobilizing as well. Got one anti tank gun. Okay, they're both on that side. Good idea for Duffman to try to keep them split if possible away from that walking Stuka. Get a bit of long range damage in here. Okay, machine gun covering this side. Enemy Allies have done a pretty good sector. job draining out the Axis over the last maybe seven or so minutes. Really feeling the impact of trying to go for that straight King Tiger stall smile. That being said, the IS-2 hasn't been that successful considering he's up against one Rakitin. I feel like Ducksworth should have been able to get a bit more done than he has. Empire's down on the far side there, Smile, not paying attention. Comes the Kachusha Barrage onto the base. Not much there for it to hit though. Couple of squads for Jungle Jake, contesting the center. He's capped on the right hand side as well. Gonna try to sneak around the side with the Sherman. Stuka about ready to fire again. These double anti tank guns need to be on their toes for Duffman. The concussive grenades. Does this machine gun not have sight somehow? Is that tiny little shrub blocking its sight? Was it shooting at units that were in its arc? Bad luck for Jungle Jake. Oh boy, that's a lot of damage from those bars. Here comes the walking Stuka. Slightly off target and uh, didn't hit too much. MG goes down as well. The mass bar firepower there just overwhelming. Good kitten from the side, but looks like Sherman's going to get out of there. Now, maybe the double anti tank gun's a little exposed to the Obers. Duffman could bring the Sherman back in if he's feeling confident. Does have to worry about those uh, Rakitans though. This one getting chased off, however. King Tiger rolling through the center. We are losing territory. Looks like uh, Ducksworth deciding to go for a quad to help against the Axis planes. Both of them do have the Sector Assault available, so that might be pretty valuable. It does leave him a little bit under strength for anti tank to deal with the King Tiger though. Wow. When have you seen that? The kitten, because it's such a short distance away from the Ford retreat point. Didn't even spin around to retreat there. That is a very rare sight. Duffman did indeed lose one of those anti tank guns. Oh, he's got a booby trap up here as well. It's nice to see. Good big connection as well. Panther still damaged. Early retreat. He's just walking Stuka going. Coming very far forwards. The captain, I think, is even going to spot it here. Maybe. Oh boy, where's this going? Big misclick from Jungle Jake. Sherman slow to mobilize. The double inch tank guns quite far back as well. That was a very lucky break. Definitely maybe microing his Jackson on the far side. Wasn't watching. 
Rain's in the air for Smile. The quad's taking care of those real fast. Yep, shut them all down. Howie into the base though, that was a big hit. Tiger coming home. That could be actually quite low, having to repair that up. This could be the end of the rifle squad. No. Good smoke. Tiny, tiny bit late, but good idea to try and cover the retreat. Bit of damage in there from Ducksworth as well with his planes, making it safe. Beard. Good rifle preservation so far from Duffman hasn't lost any of them. Just completely vacating the base here. Priest going for a base barrage itself. A lot of troops back here for Jungle Jake. model that's all he's gonna get Good fortune for jungle jake catch the walking stuka pretty tight scatter on that priest at that range though Tilly from the major coming down there the jackson on this side no now as well as the double anti tank guns so well equipped to deal with this Panther. Rookin's a little bit slow setting up. Sherman able to back out. Oh boy, we've got the IS-2 on this side and the Katusha coming down as well. Bit of teamwork here. Blasting through Jungle Jake's forces. Nearly taking down one of his Rakitans. Jungle Jake dropping the planes to try and stay safe. He's going to achieve that goal. Tiger Mimo switching into the center, there's no resistance on the left. Jackson coming across to battle against it. Oh, big shot there from the KT, down goes a penal. Duffman losing sight here. Ally still down on VPs, but only by about 60 points now. There's one stage it was... This is 200. Complain out from Duffman here. Could be good if he could save up his munitions for an artillery strike on this. A good recomplain. Guess he's hoping he's going to hit bit one so he can get that creeping barrage going. Doing a pretty poor job of dodging away with his little kitten here. <laughs> there it goes. There's a crit on the uh, Panther. The Jackson very far back though. I'm not able to do anything about that. Oh, but the Priest coming in for some damage. That'll get the Priest some good vet. Sherman coming in now is... That was the Jackson. Stuka going after the double AT guns, but Duffman, he's good on the dodging. Looks like another penal might have gone down there for Ducksworth. Down to just one now. Eager lights go down over here though, not sure what Smile was up to. So like there's died sitting in front of a machine gun. Oh, made use of the bit one ability, the fragmentation shell there. A lot of fireworks. That ability, I think, for its cost is just not that strong. You compare it to like a Zisbraj. Oh, wow! There you go, the stern pose triggers the mine. Nasty hit from the IS-2. Take it, getting blasted by the s 5 as well. Smile in some real trouble, and there we go, he's getting hit by the uh, priest now as well. The 
Still, Oax is doing a good job on the V piece. Ducksworth leaving the center just before he's about to complete to come across to repair. So the Axis are going to pull a pretty nice VP lead right here. Oh, but good flank here from Duffman. Two team weapons down. Could even maybe catch a third. Panther with the engine crit again. He's dropping the planes to try and make this safe. Twenty kills for Jungle Jake's walking Stuka. That's actually pretty good. Considering how good Duffman has been about dodging. Kill off these decrew team weapons. Old fashioned plane crash there. Now it's into the base again from Smile. Hasn't been getting such good results with those base Howie barrages though. Got another like three kills, maybe. I imagine some of those are probably medics, too. Coming back, he has one Rakitan now, and I think it's back at base, not here in support. So, Jungle Jack's got to be careful. Looks like he's also saving for a King Tiger. Ooh, big HE Sherman shot. Ouch, Jungle Jake really suffering now as he tries to stall for that KT. Which it is, could be the Faust off here. Maybe they come, but maybe the Ice 2 can finish them off. Oh no, maybe the Penals? Yes, the Penals getting the job done. Come the double anti tank guns. Got interrupted there, back into the action. The capture point is under attack. Okay, well, Hex is really lacking the infantry. Oh boy, Panther spinning around in circles over here. Ice 2 coming in. He's popping the blitz. Oh, he's just hanging on. Not quite enough damage from the IS-2. IS-2's maybe going to settle for the Katusha kill. I mean, uh, the Stuka kill. No, might be able to get both of them. Jungle Jake, the parthing for the walking Stuka. Not very good through here with all those walls still intact. Big damage. We've got the planes coming in from Smile. Needs the King Tiger coming across. And here it comes. Another Sherman rolling in for Duffman. Big shot from the KT. There are kittens here as well. Here come the planes. Nice two in some massive trouble. KT with a big miss there. Got the anti-tank gun for Duffman in a crazy angle. KT actually backing off here. Quad though occupied. Shooting at units on the ground. Not shooting at the planes. Doing some donuts here. King Tiger's turret facing nothing <laughs> resembling the right direction but there we go KT gets out of there alive Ice 2 ends up going down to the planes Duffman losing both of his anti-tank guns Ice 2 though yeah I mean bit of a shame like the quad was in combat and I really could have done with shooting down those planes a lot earlier Maybe the Ice 2 even could have survived as well. Hey, Barrage coming down here. This could be trouble for Duffman. Oh, Sturmpires go down on the far side to the Priest. Two shot onto the machine gun. Big connection, too. Jungle Jake stood no chance of getting away from that one. Great connection. Duffman getting aggressive with the double Shermans coming around the side. Now both on high explosive at the moment, I believe. 
So if, if he's hoping to do like some kind of base dive with find the king tiger, didn't really work out too well. And Jungle Jake able to steal away those double anti-tank guns, so now he's got three anti-tank guns. Could be trouble for Duffman's vehicles. Well, not trouble against that McKitten. Oh, there it goes, and abandoned as well. Well, uh, shot came through before it could even complete the abandoned crit there. Still, VP's uh, hotly contested. Max is still in the lead. Despite getting blasted, you can see the army size is definitely favoring the allies at this stage. But Jungle Jake, he's, he's getting close to that King Tiger himself now. Seems like he's been saving it for ever. Suffering similar issue to smile we just can't save the manpower Howie action in the center King Tiger making some waves as well got the Jackson coming back but that takes a big shot from the LEFH very low after that Oof, nearly took down a whole conscript squad there as well looks like Oh, super close range Katusha Barrage in the Obus. No chance to get out of there for Smile. That was nasty. Man, it's such a lethal game, but... Axis seem to be the ones wearing it worse at the moment. Pulled on the ice too now for Ducksworth, nearly taking down those Obers. The Shrek there and some support for the uh, KT. That's uh, two getting cold feet. Got the Howie coming down again from Duffman, just relentlessly targeting this forward base, and it looks like it's very close to going down. Shell looks like uh, that's dead. Oh, that lag, dude! Oh my word, that was crazy. Okay, planes dropped down by Smile on the far side. He's got the munitions, so he's gonna go for it. A lot of damage onto the quad here goes down thanks tank guns though I've been doing a pretty good job against the Shermans but oh boy was that a pack how shot finishing off the Fox Street is capping the enemy is overrunning one of our capture points and now jungle Jake he's got almost no infantry he's gonna go for a Panzer four here so close to the King Tiger but he gives up on it. Very strange. Oh boy. Really good Katusha action there from Ducksworth. Castle Grenade somehow missing there. What is Jungle Jake doing? The wheels are really coming off for him. I don't know why he's going for the Panzer IV and... Could even lose his triple AT gun setup. Got a Yag Panzer now for Smile. That will be good to answer back this SU 85. Double Shermans rolling forwards. 
Jackson knocks out one of the Rakitans. He's got the Penta 4 now, but has really got the might to fight against Duffman's vehicles. AT rolling forwards. Australia 5 in some trouble. It's on focus sight, backing away very slowly. KT not on prioritized vehicles though, so does end up getting away. Didn't use spearhead mode either to boost up the sight. Penal's trying to get the sticky satchel off. We've got the Jackson coming in from the site. Let's see its follow-up shot though. Guys slowly taking the lead for VPs. Just about there. Side is pretty open at the moment. Smile with almost no infantry to cap with. Just one new army basically at the moment, this King Tiger. Monster shot from the KT. Nearly taking down that penal. Those groups do have anti tank grenades, but Ducksworth not letting one fly there. Oh boy. Between a rock and a hard place there, he retreats into the rockets. And the IS-2 landing a big hit as well. Another squad of Obers down. How many squads this game of Obers have died? Must be about in the double digits. Okay, planes dropped in by Jungle Jake. That's going to force Duffman back. A lot of damage as well. Is he going to try finish the job on one of these... Oh, and he does! Really good scatter from the uh, planes, and he takes down one of those. It's a major hang time there. Nice two actually getting targeted by the howitzer. A little scatter at this range for the LFH. Priest getting to work. 19 kills actually, pretty strong. Oh boy, he lost one of his anti the other anti tank gun. The other M1, Jungle Jack. Looks like it got completely destroyed by the priest. about ready to go for another sector assault once the cooldown's there as well. So it does buy the axes a lot of time. Gun. Man with another Sherman in production about to pop out. Jackson missing all types of shots right now. He's in a traffic jam. Come on backing away though. Oh, you already used take aim. Fair enough. I'll say if he could pop take aim there, I think the Jackson was dead, but... That's not an option. There's two about to get opened up on. Oh boy, SU-85 goes down. King Tiger coming in hot from the side. Combining with the Jagdpanzer. This could be massive trouble for the Allies. This King Tiger just doesn't care. IS-2 with the damage engine getting blasted at the moment. Jackson mobilizing for Duffman is not very healthy though. Down goes the IS-2, this King Tiger just hidden like a truck. Jackson coming across. Tank grenades, engine crit now. I've lost the armor piercing rounds by Duffman. And uh, King Tiger's going down. Yagpens are not in range to return fire on the Jackson here. Now it is. Jackson bouncing. P4 rolling forwards. Yagpens are landing shots from long range. Oh, and the quad goes down as well. That's actually really good news with Jungle Jake. Close to another sector assault. What a crazy turnaround here for the Axis. All of a sudden, Ducksworth, he's got nothing. He's just lost everything right there. Quad, SU-85, IS-2, maybe a couple squads of infantry as well, combat engineer. And the 
King Tiger and Limpsholm. Gonna have to back up to the uh Mechanized nice truck is quite far back. Duffman gonna go for a uh, expedition, maybe try to catch that walking stuka. A second Panzer IV now for Jungle Jake. Oh, the walking stuka's already dead. Must have died to the uh, priest. Well, I didn't even notice that, but okay. I can't believe that this howitzer has been alive this entire game. Duffman's never found the opportunity to kill that. Oh, rifle squad down. The first rifle dead for Duffman. Did such a good job keeping him alive this game. 35 and Yagpans are trading blows here. Triple Panzer IVs now for Jungle Jake. Ooh. Sherman's and the Jackson though for Duffman. Jungle Jake's got the planes though. That could be the X Factor. He's dropping them down. Duffman having to back out. No quad anymore to shoot these down. So this is going to be a lot of territory loss for the Allies. Oh boy, they're getting really clumped up on each other. They're taking massive damage from the planes. The force still charging forwards and missing a lot of shots though. Jackson maybe, oh, misses the killing blow itself. But no, the SU-85 coming in from the side, finishing it off. Has this squad got a Shrek? Over's with the Shrek there, okay. Conscripts jamming the capture there. Tiger returning to action, not full health, but definitely needed on the battlefield. The Panzer's still repairing up. Did one Panzer IV go down? Yeah, just, just the one. Board the barrage again, where the ISG is. There's Jackson returning to action. Gonna open up on these uh, Panzer IVs. Everything's still alive. Duffman investing into a second Jackson. I think that's probably a good idea, especially with Jungle Jake going for a third Panzer IV now. So double Jackson's going to be very strong against that. 35 is doing its best, but it's a tall task up against the King Tiger and the Jagdpanzer. Both very well vetted. Good engine crit though on the KT. Jagdpanzer coming forwards for the SU-85. SU-85 missing. Doing almost no damage to the King Tiger. Good damage onto the Jagdpanzer. Obers go down again. And there goes the machine gun. There goes the Jagdpanzer, the double SU-85s. Getting the job done, that's exactly what the Allies needed. Down to 47 VPs. Oh, you came to the wrong neighborhood there with that Panzer IV. Where's the second Jackson though? Back at base, he hasn't got it into combat yet. And uh, actually manages to kill off enough of the vehicle crew so they can't get back in it. The Sherman on high explosive as well. Oh boy, the King Tiger even goes down. So Ducksworth just charging in there, smile not backing off far enough, and he didn't have any infantry-based anti-tank. No, sh no tricks anymore. So Ducksworth exploiting that to the fullest. So a heated VP war makes us feel like they're losing their grip, but maybe they can close us out on the victory point still. Sherman just working on the VPs, issue 85 coming in from the side as well. There goes the Panzer IV for Jungle Jake. And the Obers beat down. There's no way he can complete the capture in front of two HE Shermans. Chusher going after the machine gun again. 
Oof, hey, what crazy swings and army sizes there have been in this game. Now it's the allies well and truly ahead after Smile using both of his vehicles. And this time, the you know, during all this fighting, the X didn't really have those planes to try and keep things safe. It's going to allow those SU 85s to just drive forwards with out of care in the world. As well as no infantry based anti tank at all, no. Nothing to say. Yeah, at this point, it seems rather hopeless for the Axis. Oh, there's a good Howie barrage there. Definitely, Ducksworth could have contested this VP a little bit more. Now he's just blasting through the forward retreat point of Smile. Milestone production on another Yak Panzer. Same story for Jungle Jake. I really think Jungle Jake should have got one of these instead of a third Panzer IV. Triple P4s just stand no chance against the Jackson. And Sherman's enough of a uh, meat shield for them. And now the pre skin to work using the uh, creeping barrage. Knock out the Howie, finally, getting the job done there, Duffman, right as the game finishes. See, a lot of swings in this game, man, back and forth. Ultimately, it's the allies that come out on top. Smile just, uh, yeah, collapsing at the end there after the Panther went down. The WC-85's hunting him down, really, just a little bit too risky, I'd say, just never having any forms of infantry-based anti-tank. I know they were getting blasted by the Katusha and the Priest, but got to get something out there to deal with those SU-85s. Can't just leave it all up to the Jagdpanzer. But yeah, very solid play all round from Duffman the whole game. Good, you know, good bit of teamwork occasionally bringing across his Jacksons to save the day against the King Tiger on the far side. Just generally controlling Jungle Jake pretty well. A little bit confused about Jungle Jake's build. It looked like he was saving for the King Tiger for the longest time, and then he just went for Mass Panzer Force Spam. It did work out for a while during that resurgence of the Axis team, but in Triple Panzer Fours, just yeah, once you're up against the Vet 3 Jackson, that's really tough. And uh, yeah, you end up getting overwhelmed. But GG, well played by the Allies. Anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like your game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye, and good luck.